Hi, what I have to show you today is a Bainbury from Royal Catering. A device very versatile and very useful, especially when you have a buffet, a restaurant, especially an Italian one, or a restaurant that serves sauces and is quick on the pans, and uh, you just need some uh, hot condiments uh, on, at your hand at all times. Uh, the way it works is just like a simple bain-marie. So you put water inside and your dish in a special container. Uh, this particular model, you get three containers. Uh, each cylinder uh, has the capacity of 3.8 liter, with, but with an operational capacity of 2.75 liters. Uh, this is actually a good thing to remember. Uh, you shouldn't overfill it because when you put too much in it, uh, well, you may spill, it will go over the edges and will not look good. Uh, so, uh, 275 just goes somewhere up to here. It's good to remember to keep it right there. Um, of course, the machine is stainless steel, which is really great for uh, cleaning and uh, keeping because it, will, it is corrosion resistant, scratch resistant, and so on. Um, each cylinder here fits around one liter of water. There's a special marking on the wall on how much water it needs. So, let's just pour it in. I have to look inside. Also very important to remember not to overfill this one as well because when you drop your cylinder inside the water will jump back out so that's not good either. All right so uh, one more advice on my behalf here. Uh, first of all this device is not for cooking uh, it's just for keeping the desired temperature of that dish uh, or the temperature of your condiment. Uh, so what you do you have to heat up your dish to the proper temperature, so somewhere around uh, 65 degrees and above, so just to be in the safe zone. And the same advice goes for uh, the water. In order to save some time, it's good to put hot water straight in it. This will save you some uh, time for heating, therefore uh, save some money on electricity. Um, you can regulate the temperature, and this is actually a cool thing. You can regulate the temperature for each chamber individually. So if you don't need it, you can turn it off. Uh, if you do need it, you can just simply switch it off and you can rotate your stuff, uh, rotate your containers. Uh, so that's a very cool uh, feature. You can uh, set the temperature between 30 and 110 degrees. Obviously water will not go above 100 degrees, but uh, for the initial heating phase, uh, it's actually quite useful. So you just put it in 110, let, uh, so it's a way for the water to heat up so it steams and then you drop your container in and you drop the temperature to your desired level. Uh, remember, this is not designed for cooking, so you shouldn't keep it at high temperature at all times because this will cause the device uh, to overheat. It will trip the safety and then you have to wait for it to uh, reset. So I just drop it for 60, 70 degrees. And I put my cylinder back in. I already prepared some Mexican soup just to show you a simple example of what you can do with it. So my soup is already hot and ready. So now it's ready to serve. Um, if you're looking for a Bain-Marie, please have a look at the website. There's a whole range of Bain-Maries there um, with just one cylinder, two cylinders and four cylinders. Uh, so you definitely find the constellation that you need for your venue. Each and every one comes with a three-year warranty and they come in really safely packed in a sturdy cardboard box just like this one. As you can see, it's double cardboard, lots of packaging material in it, styrofoam, foil and so on. So it definitely stays safe during transport on its whole way to your place. Also, somewhere inside you will find an instruction manual. Please have a read because there's a lot of useful information on how to prep the device for its first use, uh, how to clean and maintain it, how much water you need and how, uh, well, all the know-how basically in regards to this machine. So definitely a good read. Um, so that's about it, what I have to tell you about this machine. Uh, if you found this informative, just let me know in the comments section what other equipment you want me to test and I'll do it for you. I thank you guys very much for watching and I see you next time.